Forget everything you thought you knew about AI like ChatGPT. What if AI could actually do your chores, book your flights, maybe even get some work off your plate? Today, I'm getting into the hype around AI agents. We'll all know about ChatGPT, Claude, Google's Gemini, or maybe Meta AI, which just rolled out. Smart chatbots, right? But that's like having a calculator that can't press buttons, right? But AI agents are on a totally different level. Okay, get this. You can ask an AI agent to find you the cheapest nonstop flight to Tokyo under $800, and oh yeah, book the window seat and pop it in my calendar. And bam, it's done. No more search engines and endless Chrome browser tabs. That's the world of AI agents we're sprinting towards. AI that doesn't just chat, it plans, acts, and solves problems autonomously. And it's rolling out faster than you can say job security. Today, I'm gonna decode AI agents, what they really are, how they'll flip your life upside down. Stick around, even if you're not tech savvy. I'm breaking this down plain and simple. Let's get into it. Here's the basics about AI agent versus AI chatbot. Think of AI chatbot like a genius friend stuck behind a screen gives great advice but has no action. An AI agent, however, is that friend who just got handed the keys to your car, your credit cards, and your calendar. Okay, so AI agents, they're basically a mix of three key ingredients. First, they've got access to multiple LLMs so they actually understand what you're saying. Every agent begins with a core model, GPT-4 class, Claude, Gemini, Grok, whatever gives it language understanding and reasoning. Think of this as the chief strategist who reads your prompt, digests context, and drafts a plan. On its own, the brain can talk, but it can't actually do much. That's why we give it skills, little code snippets such as Python, TypeScript, Bash, and API wrappers that let the strategist punch above its weight. Second, they have a toolkit. Think of it as them being able to connect to all your apps and stuff online, like your calendar, email, and even shopping sites. AI agents aren't just smart, they're active. Unlike chatbots that only talk, these agents connect with the real world. Think of it. They can use APIs like Zapier to manage your business tasks, automating workflows seamlessly. They can browse the web, filling out forms, and gathering data without you lifting a finger. Need to analyze numbers? They can run Python code for that data crunching. And in some cases, they can even interact with the physical world, controlling IoT devices and robotics. It's not just about intelligence. It's about actionable capabilities that make these AI agents truly powerful. Manus AI and GenSpark shine here. Manus embeds a full browser plus IDE sandbox, while GenSpark chains 80 plus micro tools behind the scenes to craft its Spark pages. But here's the real kicker. The secret sauce is autonomy. This means they can actually think things through, figure out what to do and keep working even when things get complicated all by themselves. It's like having a super efficient version of you, but way faster and without needing a coffee break. Sounds like a game changer? Giving AI agency or agentic AI? Set a goal and it runs with it. Early versions are already brewing. Companies like Anthropic, Microsoft with their Copilot, Meta with its new integrated AI, and even OpenAI are already building foundational models and adding agent capabilities to their AI systems. You've got tools like AutoGPT trying to build entire businesses from a prompt. Shopping agents digging through deals better than any human comparison shopper. Imagine never overpaying for anything ever again business agents spitting out insights before your analyst even finishes their coffee. Now let's be real, they're still kind of clunky. They mess up, need babysitting sometimes. But the direction, it's clear and the speed is insane. So what's next, buckle up. Your digital life, about to get wildly easier. Email agents that don't just sort, but reply like you, handling the boring stuff. Think about reclaiming hours every single week. Want to travel? Forget kayak nightmares. Plan a 10-day South Africa trip for a family of four at a resort with good food, kid-friendly, under 8K. And minutes later, you've got killer options. Okay, quick pause. What's the first tedious task you'd give your AI agent? Drop it in the comments right now, I'm curious. AI agents become your personal research team, summarizing mountains of info. They can analyze Q3 sales, find top products by region, make a killer presentation, and schedule that quarterly review meeting, and you're done. But here's where it gets really disruptive. AI customer service handling everything and AI marketing teams running campaigns around the clock. Experimental AI coders building apps from plain English. And yeah, this brings up the elephant in the room. When AI can do complex knowledge work, what about our jobs? Let's not sugarcoat it. Some jobs will change, some will disappear. Augmentation and replacement. It's happened before with tech, but the speed this time feels different. Okay, so after talking about how cool AI agents are, we gotta get real for a sec. It's not all sunshine and robot butlers, you know? There are some pretty big question marks hanging over all this. Like if we build these AI things that can kind of do whatever they want, 
how do we make sure they don't go rogue? It's like having a super smart puppy that could accidentally chew up your whole house. And think about security. We're talking about giving AI access to pretty much everything in our digital lives. What happens if that gets hacked or goes wrong? Yeah, scary stuff. Then there's privacy. Your AI agent is gonna know you inside and out, probably better than your best friend. Who gets to see all that info? And how do we stop it from being misused? Finally, is this whole AI revolution gonna lift everyone or just make the rich richer and the gap even bigger? It's a huge question with no easy answers. So yeah, while AI agents sound amazing, we've got some serious things to figure out to make sure this doesn't turn into a sci-fi movie gone wrong. The tech is not coming, it's here. Think Manus AI and Genspark AI agents. The real question is how do we steer it? Honestly, it's up to us. We can build these as incredible tools for humanity if we prioritize transparency, control, and ethics. Or we could stumble into a future where algorithms run the show without accountability. This isn't just tech news. This is about the shape of our future. What's your gut feeling? Excitement? Worry? A bit of both? Let me know in the comments. I really want to hear your take on this. If this breakdown helped you understand what's coming, smash that like button. It tells the algorithm God's people need to see this and definitely subscribe for more deep dives into the tech that's rewriting our world. Thanks for watching. Stay curious and I'll see you in the next one.